Now we're going to look into graphical filters. So we also get queries whereby um, most users are asking why is the triangulation going through the buildings or the ponds. So in case your triangulation is going through buildings, it means you did not set your features properly to identify the type of feature that you want to add in your terrain model. So from the terrain tools, there's an option for graphical filter and there is graphical filter manager. So in the graphical filter manager, this is where you are going to set your filters and your filter groups. So I will start off by setting the filter for my buildings. So here I'm going to add my buildings and the feature type, very important. I need to set these ones as great voids. And you'll see there's an option that says link to terrain feature. So when this option is disabled and if the link terrain feature option is enabled in the future, a root terrain model will be created and changes to the source graphics are it will cause the terrain model to immediately update. So always make sure that if you want to update the edit in your source terrain, link to terrain feature. So I'm going to set this option on in my filter and I'm going to select the this filter by level and I will edit it in order to add the levels that I want to add to my drape points. So I'm going to add the structural building to this and I just finish. You'll see there that the building filter is created. Then I create the other filter and this one is going to be for break lines. And again, I'm going to link to terrain. Terrain features here. I'm going to select it by level like I did previously and going to select the levels that I want to add. I just added all and I'm going to remove these two for the buildings. Okay, so finish and you'll see that I have created those two filters, one for the break lines and one for the buildings. And um, now, because when creating a terrain, it will ask you for a filter group. You'll have to create a filter group that has both your buildings and the brake lines. So I'm creating a filter group. So this one, I can call it, I'll just call it answer hour. And in here, for the description, you can add your descriptions there as brake lines and voids. Then you select the, the filters. So I have these two filters, then I finish. And when I go back to my filter manager, you will see now that I have a filter group that consists of the break line and the buildings and the filters that I created for the break line and for the buildings. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, create a terrain from graphical filter. So you'll see there's an option there where it says um, no feature linking. When this option is enabled, an unruled terrain model is created without a link to the source graphic element. And changes to the source graphic do not affect the terrain model. And when this option is disabled, and if the link to terrain feature option is enabled in a filter, a ruled terrain model is created then changes to the source graphic cause the terrain model to immediately update. Okay, so we, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create from my graphical filter. I can come in here and browse the filter that I created earlier. So from my filter groups, I have this one for answer hour, which is the one I can just preview to see my elements there. There's the preview. I'm not going to really of any edge methods. We just leave it at none and I will set the feature definition to existing triangles 
and just accept and create a terrain. And you will notice that once the terrain is created, the triangulation won't be running through the buildings. So there it has created, and you'll see that your buildings are actually displaying properly as draped voids. And let's say, for instance, now you want to change the location of one of these uh, buildings. For instance, I'm going to move this one. And you will notice that once I move it, it will reprocess and recalculate and uh, it will remember the linked um, features and it will still not um, triangulate it through. So this is how you can set your graphical filters to uh, just identify the type of features that you want to add to your terrain. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.